Happy Friday. It is cold, y'all. I'm Michael Leviton, and welcome to our last new episode of Halito for 2022. Let's just get right into it, starting in the Skagit Valley of Washington State, where Rico Moore wrote about the current controversy between Seattle City Light and environmental advocates. Seattle City Light is applying for a license to operate the Gorge Dam for the next 50 years. However, there's a question that has some implications for the application. Did salmon, steelhead, and trout historically use the river above the dams in large numbers? And if they did, Seattle City Light may be required to build a fish passage. Seattle City Light claims there's no evidence that fish ever use the river as a passage en masse. On the other hand, historical records, tribal histories, federal agency research, and even just old newspaper clippings all show that, in fact, fish did use the Skagit River. It's also worth noting the utility company has stated publicly it will provide fish passage if necessary, but in private has just allegedly said that it's expensive. Seattle City Light didn't answer our request for comment, so I guess we'll just never know the truth. And speaking of fighting the man, let's hop over to Los Angeles. Caroline Tracy writes about an organization called Coyoto Juan Masuali that is fighting intrusive land development and gentrification using the protected status of the black walnut tree. Over the course of the last few years, neighborhood activists have fought for more accountability from city planners and waged some of their most important battles against luxury home developments in the courts. Because of their efforts, one contentious project was ultimately denied. This victory brought together the local community, who now organize guerrilla planting gatherings to plant the protected black walnut trees. The trees not only prevent land developers from driving up local housing prices, but they also create shade canopies to mitigate the increasingly hot LA summers. For our last story of 2022, we go to Colorado Springs for a touching and vulnerable story from Brandon Sward about growing up queer in Colorado Springs. He tells us about his struggles with mental health and searching for community while living in an oppressively heteronormative community. He also tells us about finding that community during his first experience at a gay club, Club Q. Quick addendum, everyone at HCN is sad to report that the famous Los Angeles mountain lion P22 has died. We republished Beth Pratt's eulogy to the famous cat at hcn.org. If you want to learn more about how remarkable P22 was, you can also check out Roxandra Gady's feature story in our May 2022 issue. It's the holidays, so why not just take some time off and get caught up on reading over at hcn.org. We'll be back again next year with brand new episodes of Halito. Until then, happy holidays, stay safe out there, y'all.